This is 31-year-old attorney and mother, Sierra Breland. She is missing. I've been reading quite a bit about this story and what's gone on and wanted to bring it to you so perhaps you too can share it. She needs to be located. Her family is out of their minds. They are searching constantly. Her husband has a lot of issues going on. So I'm going to tell you exactly what happened the week going into when she went missing. Xavier, Sierra, and their baby and Sierra's dog all went back home to Georgia. They both had family there and they were both going home to visit. She ended up seeing her dad on February 19th and she talked to her family about leaving Xavier and moving back home. Even though she had this conversation, she did end up leaving the father's home and traveling with Xavier about 45 miles to his family's residence so that he could visit the family. Why she did this, I'm unsure. Maybe she was pacifying him until she could get back and plan and get her stuff together and leave. I'm not 100% sure. But he claims after visiting his mother's home, they all left to go back to Indiana. He says that on February 25th, Sierra left the house in a t-shirt and shorts and was going to the store. It was between 10 and 11 p.m. The closest store is CVS, and I believe it was closed. She had three phones, a personal phone, a business phone, and a burner phone. I'm assuming the burner phone could have been because she was trying to plan to get away from him, but all three phones were still there. Her credit card was still there. Her keys, her child, her dog, her belongings, Everything was still there. So she was going to the store with apparently nothing. Additionally, she was in shorts and a t-shirt and it was hovering in the mid twenties that night. So that entire story just doesn't sound plausible at all. Additionally, the police say that they've confirmed the last verifiable sighting other than Xavier's words to be back in Georgia at the mother's house. Sierra was seen on camera, whether it was security camera from the mother, Xavier's mother, or her neighbor's camera, either way. It was February 24th at 7.17 p.m. So Sierra's family believes she never made it back home at all, that she never made it back to Indiana. Additionally, Xavier has been named a person of interest, but he is incarcerated currently for a whole separate issue having to do with stalking and harassment of his ex. And we're going to get into that. On a Zoom call, Xavier is having an, a Zoom call with his children as a form of visitation because he has a restraining order against him from the mother of the children. He tells the kids that Sierra's been kidnapped. Now he tells the police that she went to the store and I'm going to show you the video so that you can see that for yourself. Kidnap my wife. Do you know what that means when they kidnap an adult? She's not coming home, but. We have a five-month-old son. What did Xavier Breland tell police in Indiana when he reported Sierra Locklear Breland missing? That she had just walked away from the residence the night before. He did not say she was kidnapped. According to Carmel, Indiana Police Department, that's, that's correct. That's not what was uh, passed on to us. A contact who says she is close to the mother of two of Xavier Breland Jr.'s children says the Zoom call was video visitation between Breland and the kids allowed under a Fulton County judge's permanent order of protection protecting that mother from Breland. A contact says it was recorded February 28th, roughly two days after Breland had reported another woman in his life. 
Lawyer Sierra Locklear Breland, the kid's stepmom, missing. A missing persons case in which Xavier Breland Jr. has been named a person of interest. But she's my best friend. She's my wife. The Zoom recording frequently switches between images of the man our contact identifies as Breland. He's been missing for about four days. And the children, but we are not showing the children. I called the police, and uh, the police came to the house. And they did a search warrant on the house, on both of the cars. They brought the dogs to try to sniff for her and find her. Our contact says she provided the video partly because Breland's suggestion to the children that Sierra had been kidnapped. Somebody, somebody took her. Raises questions about how he would know that in light of what police have released. Though she acknowledges at one point he suggests he knows something is really wrong because Sierra would not have willingly left without a third child, the five-month-old son he had with Sierra. He is in our custody right now at the Coweta County Sheriff's Office Jail. The Coweta County Sheriff's Office says Breland was extradited from Indiana. Records show a Coweta aggravated stalking indictment. The alleged victim is not Sierra and not guilty plea. I'm going to find my wife, okay? At this point... Xavier Breland Jr. not charged with a crime in connection with Sierra's disappearance. That's correct. Just a person of interest at this point. Johns Creek Police Captain Todd Hood told us the last sighting of Sierra confirmed by police was in Johns Creek. My heart is broken. So again, what we know is the couple went to visit the family. She was last seen on security camera at her mother-in-law's home in Johns Creek, Georgia, February 24th, 7.17 p.m. They were supposed to leave Georgia right after that. Xavier reported her missing February 26th. He stated she left home the night before at 10 p.m. to go to the store. She brought nothing at all with her. And he claims that she left home in a t-shirt and shorts. And it was around 20 to 25 degrees that night. So none of that sounds plausible. Xavier does have past and current charges for stalking and harassment of his ex. He has a restraining order on him for that issue. She had texted her family members letting them know that if anything happens to her, quote, it was Xavier. She told her cousin he was nuts and she was seeing things in him that made her want to leave him. He didn't bother notifying family that she was missing or calling anyone to see if maybe she had, you know, been with them or was somewhere else. And additionally, he waited quite a while before reporting her missing. Here are the text messages. Same time, I'm seeing things that scare me a lot for a future with him, and they aren't the kind of things that you can accept and live with. Next one says, I will in a few minutes. I'm at Xavier's mom's house and I'm heading to dad's and he won't give me Jackson. So I am waiting to get him so I can leave. Jackson is her baby, the five month old child that Xavier and Sierra have together. This one was also regarding Xavier and it says, I'm really scared and I don't know what to do. So Xavier Breland is 37. He was arrested March 2nd on an unrelated warrant out of Coweta County. He's being held in Hamilton County in Indiana, awaiting extradition to Georgia. So the Coweta County courts were revoking his bond on an aggravated stalking charge. This was separate from Sierra. This has nothing to do with her, even though he is a person of interest. So his original arrest was back in June by the Noonan Police Department on those charges. The grand jury indicted him on aggravated stalking charges in December. And this is not the first time he's been in legal trouble. He has had warrants associated with harassing phone calls, violating a family violence order, In 2007, he was arrested in Florida and extradited to Indiana, Indiana on a fugitive warrant. And, you know, he just obviously uh, is a scary man when he's in a relationship. So there is a video floating out around there 
of Sierra and Xavier in his ex's apartment. I am very unclear on whether or not she was representing him at that time in his case because she is an attorney. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's accurate, but Sierra had been married to him for less than a year. The two had married only after four months, and then they had Jackson this past October. Her best friend is her cousin Shelly, and she said she wasn't even sure Sierra had changed her last name yet. They had moved from Atlanta to Indiap Indianapolis so that she could work for this new firm, but immediately she seemed to have known his behaviors were just... She said that they were paranoid and aggressive and that she did not want to stay with him, that she was afraid of him. Now, best guess and where the searches are happening are at Johns Creek. People have been trying to go and speak to Xavier's mother and they're just told to go away. As far as I know, she has not been talking. There are searches happening all the time. I'm going to put more information in the description of the video to both the groups that are working on this and the searches that are happening. I'm going to post her missing flyer on my community wall. Please copy that and share it out.